Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters in Islam, how to prove that an individual is in love with you? What is the evidence? What is the ultimate proof that someone really loves you? Is it chanting the words, I love you, I love you repeatedly? Or love is proven through actions? I would go for the latter. Action speaks louder than words. And this is exactly how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is demonstrating his love for his slaves. And the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for all of us to expect the best from him insha'Allah ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who showers you with blessings and prayers. Why? To take you out of darkness and to admit you into the light. To take you from the path of misguidance into the light of Islam, into the light of ultimate guidance that would lead you to Jannah inshaAllah ta'ala. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Love in action. Shouldn't we expect the best from him? And he's been always most merciful to the believers. So the condition is also belief, iman, following the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and this is how to prove to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in return that you love him in action through faith through Iman. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is demonstrating His love for you by taking you out of this darkness of sin and shirk and admitting you into the light of guidance and Jannah insha'Allah ta'ala. If you observe some of the ayat in the Quran, you will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you in advance that there are certain deeds that if you, that if you engage yourself in, you will earn His love. And if you earn Allah's love, you will be on the safe side. Like what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves as-sabirin, those who demonstrate patience. So if you persevere and demonstrate patience upon your trials, patience in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, patience in your struggle to achieve goodness and so on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you. Allah is telling you in advance that this is the action that will make me draw nearer to you in love. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves al-muhsineen, those who perfect their actions, whether in worship and in worldly actions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves al-muttaqeen, those who fear him in public and in secret, those who are conscious of him, those who are aware that he's always over watching them. And as a result, they, they always have that tendency to stay away, the resistance to fight evil and fight sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves at-tawwabin, those who often repent. SubhanAllah, he's telling you in advance, do these actions and you will earn Allah's love. Isn't this enough for us to expect the best from Him? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves al-mutatahreen, those who purify themselves spiritually through prayers, dua and worship, and also physically. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also loves al-mutawakkileen, those who fully rely on Him, those who put their trust in Him, in everything they do in life. And subhanAllah azim, when you look at these ayat, read, read the commands before, before the ending of each ayah, and you will know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is expecting of you. And if you do your best to fulfill these criteria, then you will earn Allah's love. And isn't that enough for you to expect the best from Him, inshaAllah? And on the other side, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also have some ayat in the Quran, where he said that Allah does not love certain categories of people. So stay away from these actions and again you will earn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love al-zalimin, those who oppress others. So stay away from oppression. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love al-mu'tadeen, those who transgress limits and overpower others unjustly. So stay away from injustice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love al-musrifeen, those who spend unnecessarily. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love al-kha'ineen, the traitors, those who betray each other, subhanAllah. So stay away from these actions and you will earn Allah's love. And again, isn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love enough? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love kulla mukhtalin fakhur, those who boast about their culture, about their race, about their wealth and 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 act arrogantly toward each other. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love those who so stay away from these actions. And subhanAllah, you will earn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love. Isn't His love 
enough for you to expect the best from him? Aren't all these ayat evidence for you? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is drawing nearer to you, telling you the path, telling you the roadmap to his love so that you don't err and end up in hellfire. Many a times we care only about this worldly matter and when we are distracted with calamities, when we are distracted with financial problems, we think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love us. That's why he's giving us all these problems. But subhanAllah, we don't reflect over our personalities, our, over our actions. Uh, maybe we are arrogant. Maybe we backbite a lot. Maybe we lie a lot. Maybe we commit injustice against each other. And as a result, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us so that we can repent and draw near to him. We don't reflect over this. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the right understanding. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa used to supplicate, Oh Allah, I ask you to grant me your love. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower us with his love. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Brothers and sisters, if you are benefiting from these episodes and this series, kindly just click like and share the videos with others so that inshallah the benefits can go far and wide. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.